Okay, guys, I want to give you an overview of what's been going on here. You can hear the accumulator pump has been running. Typical accumulator pump failure, um, seemingly. But there's something strange that I've been noticing. When I do a brake bleed, I'm going to tell you what it what I notice it. And that would be a neighbor's shooting. Um, yeah, I live way out in the country. When I open this, I'm all set with TechStream, set to bleed the right rear brake. Um, what happens, I'm going to tell you what happens, and then I'm going to show it to you so you can see it. Um, so the brake pedal's down, it's being held down, it's ready to in, in bleed mode. When I crack that bleeder, fluid starts, comes out, there's a little bit of bubbles. You can tell when the accumulator, when it runs out of accumulated pressured fluid, the tone changes. And the accumulator starts going, the noise changes, and then you get a bunch of stream of bubbles. Um, sometimes it gets more, and then it kind of fades out, and eventually the bubbles stop, and then you close it. Seemingly, after you do that, the car behaves more normally for a while. In fact, at one point, I had it work completely normal with almost no noise, uh, normal accumulator running for about a week, and then it slowly started to malfunction again. So obviously, air is getting into the system somewhere, uh, and then pooling somewhere, and then when I do this rear brake bleed, it ends up being evacuated out. That's my guess. Now, let me show you what it does, and then we see what your opinion is. I don't know. I mean, maybe the, the failure mode of the accumulator is that air gets into a check valve somehow, and that's what why it needs to be replaced. I don't know, but it's an interesting behavior. Let me show you here. I'm going to try to back off a little. Sorry, I'm filming with my, with my one hand and my phone. Okay. Now at that point, that one went clean pretty quickly. When I did the left just a minute ago, um, there were bubbles and then it stopped and then some more bubbles and I let it run for a while. I'm gonna let the accumulator repressurize and do this again. I've got the reservoir completely topped off so we should be good there. So that's the failure mode that it does. Uh, I just wanted to get your guys' opinion, uh, see what you guys thought. You know, maybe that's exactly what happens when the accumulator fails and you got to get a new one. I actually already bought one from a salvage car um, that was not crashed and had no check engine lights and was driving uh, normally. So, um, but before I put the time and labor into swatching, sw switching it over, thought I might get your guys' opinion um, and tell you, you know, maybe. Maybe there's some place in the fluid path where the system could pick up air as it moves fluid back and forth, and I could fix that rather than, you know, change the accumulator pump. Anyway, appreciate your guys' opinion. Let me know. Thanks. I've done that bleeding procedure. Um, this is a better improvement than normal, and uh, the one thing that I did today was I let when I, especially when I did the left, the left rear, um, I let it run for a long time and cycle a whole bunch of fluid. And like I said, on that one, a bunch of bubbles came out more so than, uh, you know, like I said, you know, some came out and then when it ran out of accumulated pressure and it made the different no noise, more bubbles came out and they streamed for a while. I shut the port. More shooting. Opened the port again and I got a few more bubbles a second time until it stopped. And I did that a couple of times. Then I did the right rear, which I showed you on camera. That one I didn't get nearly as many bubbles out of. But now that I've done that, the accumulator pump is not running. And normally it cycles on, stops for a few seconds, cycles on. It's almost continuous. And after I do this procedure, it stops doing this. So, like I said, I just would like your guys' opinions to see if, um, 
you know, maybe maybe somewhere between the reservoir and the master cylinder and the accumulator pump, maybe the fluid path, maybe it's maybe there's a loose hose or a loose clamp or a loose fitting, and it's picking up uh, air somewhere as it's traveling. Um, I don't lose any fluid over time, so there's not leaks. It's not picking it up. It's not leaking out of a bleeder port or, or seeping back in from a bleeder port because I don't lose any fluid. And I drive a lot. I drive about a thousand miles a week, so I would see fluid loss. Um, and I usually do a good job. I spray down all of the bleeder ports when I'm done with brake fluid, to, so that if I see a leak, it's easy to see it. You know, um, so because it's dry when I finish. Um, anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, again, I appreciate your help. And uh, let me know. I mean, if I got to change the pump, that's what I got to do. But um, maybe there's a simpler solution, or maybe this will be a clue as to what's going on. Thanks for your help. Bye. Okay, guys. Well, apparently I lied. Uh, put it in ready mode, brought it down off the ramps, and now the accumulator pump is cycling more like it normally does. kind of inclined to put it back up on the ramps and try and bleed it one more time and see if I get any more bubbles that maybe that'll tell me something also do you guys know um, has anybody tried bleeding it when it's in ready mode uh, whether that has any effect you know put your foot on the brake obviously the emergency brakes on and um, whether that puts it into a different state and more shooting they must be having fun over there <laughs> thanks guys said bit The accumulator pump runs, and then there's a slight little tapping or knocking noise that comes from the rear. I don't know if you heard it, it only tapped once there. It does it right after the accumulator pump stops cycling. And it didn't do it that time. Let me see if I can put my foot on the brake. It is in ready mode. Well, that may pump the pedal a couple of times. That does seem to have an effect. So that's kind of weird. You can hear it in the car. Um, it seems like after the car sits for a while, of course it just started. Okay, I'm done bleeding the brakes. Uh, actually, bled them again. Uh, after the last time, there was a, as soon as you tap the brakes, there was a, a chirp noise that would happen right as you press the brakes, regardless of how much pressure you put. So I went ahead and bled them again, and now that has stopped. The car is powered on, and it's in ready mode in park. And as you can hear, the accumulator pump is not running continuously like it normally does. By the way, that light that I have right here is from Harbor Freight. It's a really good light. Um, about 30 bucks. Runs on a 18650. It swivels and it's magnetic and it rotates. It's pretty cool. Um, so I started the video. I wanted to let you guys hear it for a second here. Um, it does cycle, but it cycles. I just heard it cycle just before I turned on the video. I'm just curious to see you know, how often it's cycling. I can show you guys. I uh, also want to show you an interesting noise that it's making. Um,
car's got 222,000 miles on it, by the way. I'll let this go for a short time here, and if it doesn't make the noise again, and then I will just discard this video. The high-pitched noise you hear, I don't know if that's normal, but you can't hear it with the hood down, you don't hear it. Like I said, the car is in ready mode in park. And I've got the climate control turned off. We're sitting at about two minutes now. Of course, as soon as I turn off the video, it'll make the noise. All right, I'm going to give up holding the brake pedal down now. It's in park. And the accumulator is running on and off. There's also an interesting, like, high-pitched chirpy noise. Hopefully you can hear that after the accumulator pump. It's actually louder over here by the tire. Let's see if you can hear it by the rears. Very slightly. Well, so what you guys think? Oh, sorry. Anyway, that's what's going on. Sorry for the long video, but I thought it might be helpful for anybody else that might have an issue, or if you guys have some, um, you know, some idea what might be going on here. You know, the answer may be you got to change the accumulator pump, which is fine. I've, I, I bought one, um, but I just find it interesting that doing a very thorough bleed on the rear brakes basically returns the car to normal for a period of time. By the way, the stick that I'm using, um, sorry about the darkness here, guys. The uh, That's the stick that I'm using to hold the brake pedal. It's a, uh, I think it's Lyle. I now don't remember, I bought it on Amazon. If I remember, I'll stick the link, but it's got just a, a simple uh, a simple friction uh, relief there, so it's really can't break. Uh, very helpful. Anyway, guys, if you guys have any uh, suggestions, I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening. Well, I'm back. Um, I didn't record it before because I sat here with it in park, in ready mode, and the pump was not cycling anymore. After having the stick and the brakes held down and showing you those weird noises at the brakes, the accumulator, accumulator pump is now cycling again at a faster rate. Let's we'll see if it does it again. So, uh, 
27 seconds into the video. Now it won't do it again. Just watching the timer on the video, seeing if I can, if there's any correlation in time. Was it 27 seconds? We're now, of course, now it's going to stop and return to normal behavior. But this is the thing that I've noticed before is well, I've done this, I, I had one successful bleed that I did, and, and it was a, quite a. Oh, now the engine's going to start. It's going to run for a minute because it's because of the battery. Um, I had one successful bleed in the past where I and I and I did it. The problem is I don't remember the procedure. I was kind of messing around. I tried a couple different things. I think I bled it while it was in ready mode on the fronts. Got a bunch of fluid and then I went to the rears. Didn't work, so I used TechStream for that because uh, the. The rears are ABS pump actuated. Anyway, I don't remember what the procedure was. That's the problem. Um, and I let it, and then it's behaving like it is now, where the accumulator pump is not running very often. And it behaved pretty much normally for about a week, week and a half, something like that. Uh, no ABS warning lights. Um, but slowly over time, as I drove, you started. I started hearing the accumulator pump running more and more and more often, and then eventually it threw the VSC ABS brake light warning, um, and then eventually it started making a, a, a barking noise, like a seal, kind of like, er, 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 like that when you'd get on the brakes hard. Um, bleed the rears, seemingly just the rears. I didn't do anything else today. You bleed the rears, and it returns to more normal behavior. One thing I've noticed, and I showed you guys in the earlier video, what it does when you bleed. That was the right rear. Something I've noticed is the left rear seems to have more bubbles that show up. Um, you know, you can bleed it. Car's powered off, by the way. Um, when you bleed the left rear, it seems like you get more bubbles when, you know, you hear you, the fluid goes, it makes some noises, then the accumulator pump starts going, then the tone changes, then more bubbles come. The, um, it seems like it does that more on the left rear than it does on the right rear. So again, maybe that's a clue to maybe where the air leak is at or something. I don't know. Anyway, I, I apologize for starting and stopping the video. I know I've said thanks, and and that was the end of the video several times. But as I've done that, some other things have come up, and then I figure I should, I should video that together. So what I'm going to do is piece all these videos together so that it's one long video. And hopefully you guys can help out, or it provides some clues, uh, both for myself and for anybody else that might be running into this problem. I didn't pay a lot for this car, so you know I'm not afraid to put some money in it. Um, but uh, anyway, thanks again for your help. Appreciate your, your uh, patience and uh, any technical expertise out there that may be there. Thank you.